Hey guys, Ryan here. And in this video, I'm going to be covering how to easily remove bloatware and adverts in Windows 11, as well as disable telemetry, copilot and Bing search. Now, Windows 11 itself, I don't personally think is a bad operating system, but for some strange reason, Microsoft seems to be hell bent on ruining the user experience at the moment. I'm not quite sure what they're smoking. So for example, they're now adding unwanted adverts for their services and even extend that to third parties. In addition, they're also jumping on this AI bandwagon, which seems to be a hot topic at the moment. However, like many things in life, there is a way to quell the madness. Enter the Windows 11 Dblurt GitHub project. This is a fantastic tool that allows you to remove pre-installed Windows Blurway applications and remove any intrusive interface elements such as ads, Copilot, Bing, etc. and so on and so forth. In other words, rather than go through the tedious process of disabling all these intrusive settings yourself or manually removing applications, you now have a semi-automated method of cleanup and installation of Windows 11. Plus, since this tool relies on using registry edits, any of these changes can be reverted with a couple of clicks. Plus, if you ever remove an application, you can always reinstall it from the Microsoft Store. So by default, the tool does the following. It's going to remove a wide variety of pre-installed blow applications, as well as the accompanying start menu pins for all users. It also turns off telemetry, diagnostic data, app launch tracking, target adverts, as well as disabling tips, tricks, suggestions, and adverts in the start menu, the settings application, the notification center, Windows Explorer, and more recently, the lock screen. It also disables Bing search in the start menu, because that's just crap, Copilot, and in the future when it's introduced, the Windows Recall Snapshot service. And finally, you can also make sane changes to the layout of Windows Explorer, the taskbar and the contacts menu, but this is optional. So really, if you want a summary of what's actually done by default, there is a section on the GitHub page, aptly named the default mode, and it basically outlines what's removed by default. So to use the Windows 11 dblot tool, Simply click on the download link under the traditional methods section, extract the archive, and inside the extracted folder, there will be several files and folders. However, the only file that we need to be concerned about is this one here, which is the run.bat. So let's double click on the file, confirm the UAC prompt, and then you'll see the Windows 11 dblurt script tool that will be loaded. So from here, you've got a couple of options. You have default mode, which is going to apply the default settings, Custom mode, which will allow you to modify the script to your needs. The app removal mode, which will allow you to select and remove apps without making any other changes. And then finally, show information about the script. However, for the sake of this video, we're going to choose the first option, which is the default mode. And before you start the script, you'll just see basically a summary of what's going to be done, which we've already had a look on the website. So let's press enter to start the process. So from here, it's really just a matter of letting the process complete. And then once you get a message at the bottom saying it's been completed successfully, you can press any key just to close down the window. So at this stage, you've now got a nice and tidy installation of Windows 11 without any adverts, unwanted applications, and all that AI nonsense. Okay, so in conclusion, Microsoft is really putting people off upgrading or using Windows 11 at the moment. And despite the fact that I personally like this operating system, it's really annoying that we have to go through tools like this just to sanitize the situation. But in either case, thank you for watching this video today. And if you did find it helpful, then please don't forget to leave a like, share the video, and smash that subscribe button to see more content like this in the future. As always, thanks again, and I'll see you again very soon. Cheerio.